suddenly scientists and virologists are trying to study about what's going to come next. They're saying that they should go into the wild and start studying wild animals simply because one group is feeding on wild animal, another group keep clearing up the forest, another group making money out of the forest, another group making money out of the wild animals, another group is making money out of endangered species, another group is doing research, another group is doing wildlife protection, another group doing research on pathogens, another group is actually chasing to domesticate the wildlife, another group is capturing wildlife to sell it on as pets. The list keeps going on. Another group is funding the anti-poaching um, charities. Every one of these foundations and groups and charities and organizations are surrounded by cash, money. So who's going to lose out? The people who are consciously living, harmoniously trying to live, the farmers who's trying to do what they can to live. All of these people with organizations and charities and groups going with research, going with this, that, all because we simply do not leave the nature. We wanted to take more, we wanted to clear up more, we wanted to farm, we wanted to have our domesticated animals, we wanted to have farm animals, we wanted to, to feed the farm animals, we want to clear the forest, to produce farming food, barley, grain, soy, palm, all this to feed, feed the animals that we want to eat. What are we doing with our planet? What are we doing with life? We have a very sparkle of life. Don't we love to cherish? And just do what is needed without intending to generate profit by destroying life. I think it's time that we put our tools down and see how difficult it is to conquer the world, how difficult it is to even be able to eat, even be able to catch a little ant. Just think about it. Just, just pay attention to life. Put all your tools down, all your intellect, put it to a side, reflect and see how important is it to preserve life and promote and protect? By doing so, all these issues that we are surrounded by will simply go away because we are not encroaching. When wildlife 
come into our space. We're saying, oh, the wildlife is encroaching on human space. No, no, no. The wildlife was there before we got here. It's just that we wanted to get closer to the wildlife. And of course, what would you expect? The wildlife, the wild animals, is naturally roaming in their habitat, would come across your house, come across your tent, that you propped it in the middle of the forest. Just, just be conscious and just be intelligent about how you conduct your life. Don't look for profit. Don't look to generate wealth by destroying the environment, the habitat, natural life around. What are we going to end up with? Disasters, pandemics, endemics, protests, turmoil. I think it's time that we, I'm sure, we've come to a place that all can realize what is going around us. Yet, People don't have a gentle and conscious enough and meaningful life. They just want to acquire everything more and more and more. More and more is causing more and more pain and struggle and suffering and turmoil in so many. <laughs> 